try to build on that. It's not exactly the same thing today, but I'm hoping that you know something about journalizing in special journals and posting to um, the things that need to be posted, and we're going to try to pull it together and have you understand it a little bit better than that today. Uh, one of the things that I have been thinking about is trying to summarize this. Could we, could we talk a little conceptually now that you've done the procedures about what, we, what we're trying to accomplish? And I've formulated some questions, a good old who, what, where, when, why look at this. Uh, one is, what do we post? And it seems to me that sometimes we post the individual items that we write in those columns. And sometimes we wait until the end of the month and post the column total. Now, which of those is preferred? More people need to say? Total. Our goal is to post the column total because that's where the greatest time saving occurs. If we can post a column total instead of an individual entry, that's a really good thing. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah. We can save tons of time there. Now, where do we post? It seems to me that some of the things that we write down, we post to the general ledger, just like we have been since chapter two. And in this chapter, we introduce new ledgers, accounts receivable and accounts payable, and call them subsidiary ledgers. They're databases. They're keeping up with additional information for the customers that owe us and the creditors to whom we owe money. And even inventory in a perpetual inventory system is a subsidiary ledger. All that in the background that we talked about last week that the computer's doing for us is a subsidiary ledger and is keeping up with additional information. So we should inventory that list. Then when do we post? Sometimes we post daily, often, or instantly if it's a computerized system. The point I'm trying to contrast is, do you post more often or do you wait until the end of the month? And here's an example. The subsidiary ledger for accounts receivable, we probably want to post often because if a customer calls and says, how much do I owe you? You don't want to say, uh, -uh. call me back at the end of the month and I'll tell you. That's embarrassing. You need to know all the time. So when we post column totals, we don't even have the column total until the end of the month. We post them after we waited patiently all month long for all the transactions and then post them once at the end of the month. So that's kind of what I'm trying to help you sort out, not memorize, but sort out and understand and be able to explain. And finally, simplest of all, we sometimes post as a debit and sometimes post as a credit. The other thing that I'm wondering if you're, you are curious about or hoping, wishing that you would be curious about is how on earth are you, Mr. Greg, going to convert these procedures, these homework problems, to multiple choice format? And I want you to know that we're going to spend some time on the test just a little bit, not 35 questions, but some questions about posting. And these might be some of the possible answers. You're either going to post to the general ledger as a debit, to the general ledger as a credit, to the subsidiary ledger as a debit, to the subsidiary ledger as a credit, and here's a handout where I'm going to try to lead you through an example that would help us decide and apply those choices. Now, I've got plenty in my hand right here. If there are too few on your row, tell me and I'll get you one. If there are too many on your row, I'll pick it up at the end of the hour. Your handout looks like what's on the screen. And what I'd like to draw to your attention is these 11, what I'm calling, questions right now. And what we're going to do is look at the questions one at a time so that I could ask you a series of questions about it and you don't know what I'm going to ask right now. Nobody does. But I just need a pioneer, an explorer, somebody with a little bit of understanding but who's willing to be led and try to help us establish some of the main concepts and there's a whole lot of repetition in this class today, and if you'll mentally participate and understand as we go along, you'll leave here a whole lot better off. Now, I'm not asking you to learn this rote, to just say what I want you to say. 
but I do want you to answer all these questions and know what's being asked. Know the answers to these questions that are being asked. Um, you know some scripts. Like, I thought debits and credits had equal. They do. We don't have to say the whole thing. No. I'm just using it as an illustration. No. <laughs> hey class, how many steps are there in closing interest? Four. Four. Come on, speak up. Four. Four. See, y'all know some scripts. Well, this is going to turn into sort of a script. There's some questions that I'm going to ask over and over and over again. Maybe even 11 times. So, here's the first question. Let's talk about this series of questions. I just need a volunteer who's willing to field these questions, and then I'm going to ask them over and over and over again, hoping that you'll volunteer before the day's over and understand the answers to these questions. Who's this willing pioneer person who's willing to answer these questions for me? Are you willing to go for this for me? Okay. The question, the first question is, what symbol appears where the number one appears? Check mark. There are two choices to that question. It could either be check mark or account number. Want to stick with your answer? Um, account number. It is check mark. I'm sorry <laughs> I did that to you. <laughs> Can you forgive me? Yes. Okay. It's check mark. And sometimes check marks say, this item has been posted. And sometimes check marks say, this item won't be posted. Which did this check mark say? This item. Well, has been posted. Has been posted is the correct, correct answer. That apparently that was a good guess. Has been. Did you notice that the choice was not is going to be posted? It's never future tense. It's always past tense. It's always the last thing you do. The redundant part of that question was the this part. This item. Well, let's count how many items we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 21 thises on the screen. To which one are you referring? This check mark is not about all 21 of them, it's about one of them. Direct me to that number on the screen. Um, so the first one? I don't know what your first is. This first one right here? <laughs> no, number one? Number one. This? Yes. It's, uh, it's about one of these numbers beyond that. It's all of these numbers it's referring to, all of these. This is the conversation you are having to represent that check mark. We're going to put the check mark right there. But what did that mean? This item has been posted. What, what this? The entry? Which entry? There's 21 of them. All of them? No. Just one of them? It's just one. Um. Anybody Number want one. to give her help? Ashley? Is it? Uh, That's a question. I'm sorry. Uh, the date, 7 30. We're going to post this? Uh, no, it's the. Sorry. The, oh, okay, sorry. It's the accounts table, the number in the accounts table, debited 4,000. This? Yeah. That. And not all the other 20 things, just that. No, not just that. The 4,049. Oh, and this and this. So three things. All three of these? I, I thought so. I said just a minute ago it's just one thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did I say that? Mm -hmm. yes. okay. okay, so I think we've narrowed it down. It used to be 21, now it's three. So actually, which one of these three is this check mark referring to? Vivian? Ashley? Drake. Cash. Credit. This number yes. is incorrect. Now we're down to two. Accounts payable? <laughs> Vivian. <laughs> Accounts payable? It is this number, and only that number, that was posted. And when we posted it, we put a check mark right there to indicate we posted it. Now that check mark says we have posted it to the general ledger or to the subsidiary ledger, Vivian. To the subsidiary. To the subsidiary ledger. To the subsidiary ledger for accounts receivable or accounts payable? Accounts payable. Is correct. 
Was it posted to any particular account in the subsidiary ledger? Aqua Systems. Ah, Aqua Systems is correct. We're on the road now. We got through the hard part. So was it posted as a debit or as a credit? As a debit. Did you look at that? Is that cheating? Not at all. That's why we wrote that at the top of the column. Debit. You all with me or not? Mm -hmm. When was it posted, Vivian? Daily, often, instantly? That's one choice. Or at the end of the month? Let's go with daily. Daily is the best answer. I think we ought to post more often to the subsidiary ledger than we do to the general ledger because we want to keep up with it. Daily, often. <coughs> However you want to describe that. Not at the end of the month, that's the point. So Vivian, which is the best answer for question one? A posting to C. A, B, C, D. C. C. Posted to the subsidiary ledger as a debit. Yes? Okay. She laid some groundwork for us. I want to do a new one. I want to look at item number two. I'm wondering if you would be willing to do this for me. I need a brand new volunteer. Let's get rolling. We've got to make up for some lost time. Five minutes that I took at the beginning. Come on, somebody. Michael, are you willing? I think so. What symbol appears where the number two appears, okay. Michael? Check mark. A check mark or an account number? Check mark. It's an account number. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to be funny. The only reason it's funny is because I talked Vivian out of it. Remember that? Yeah. And I tried to talk Michael into it. It's okay. Is that because? No. Nope. I'm asking questions, <laughs> but I'll answer those in a few minutes. And of others of you, I just want to establish some things, okay? We're still kind of pioneering here. So why is it an account number instead of a check mark you want me to answer, and I'd rather you answer that, so let's see if we can get there. Um, because we're telling people what other account we're referring to. Yeah, kind of, but I'll tell you, I'll ask you. To which of all these, there's 21 to start with and we'll eliminate that one. There must be 20 left. Uh, which one of these is it referring to? The 900 and the other. This account. 900? No, the other 900. Uh, three to the left. This one? Yes. Just this one? Yes. Not any of the others? Not any. That is correct. It is that 900 to which we're referring. Now, was that 900 posted or not posted? Posted. Posted, and when you posted it, you put an account number there mm -hmm. to say that you did post it, past tense, history. Mm -hmm. And you posted it to the general ledger or to the subsidiary ledger? General ledger. To any particular account in the general ledger? Uh, rent expense. To the one called rent expense. Did you post it there as a debit or as a credit? Debit. Did you look? Uh, yes. Yeah. Is that cheating? No. No? Smart. When did you post it? Daily, often, or end of month? Often, daily. Actually, you can't get that question wrong. <laughs> Either choice works. <laughs> My choice is to post to the subsidiary more often than you do the general ledger. Since you posted this to the general ledger, my favorite answer from those two is general ledger. But if you post it now, daily often, the, the problem with posting it now is you're going to be out of balance from now until the end of the month because you didn't post everything. You just posted one thing. But who's going to know? You're not going to do a trial balance. So it's okay. If you want to post it now and get rid of it and put the account number there, that's okay too. Do you see why I say you can't miss that one? Mm -hmm. There's a good rationale for both. But remember, which is my favorite, I say all the subsidiaries more often than the general ledger Let's wait on the general ledger and post it at the end of the month. Okay? okay. Now, Michael, mm -hmm. which answer is the best answer for question two? Uh, a. A. Posted to the general ledger as a debit is correct. I'm about to move on. If you've got questions, I hope you'll keep them in mind and ask me in a minute. I need a new volunteer. I want to talk about the symbol that appears where the number three appears. Are you ready for this, Drake? Yeah. What symbol appears there? An account number or a check mark? It's going to be an account mm -hmm. number. It's an account number. Any particular account number? 
the account number four? Inventory. Inventory. Yes. Now, to which item are you referring of these 21, 2019 left? Which one? The 3,200 under accounts, other accounts debited. This one right here? No. This one right here? Yes. Only this. Yeah. That's the one we're talking about. Was posted to the general ledger or to the subsidiary ledger? The general ledger. Is correct. Because that's where inventory is. You told me it was posted to the inventory account. And that's where inventory is in the general ledger. Did you post there as a debit or as a credit? As a debit. As a debit. Did you do that daily often or at the end of the month? At the end of the month. You can't miss that question, but my favorite is end of month. Okay? Which is the best answer for question three? A. A. Posted to the general ledger as a debit is correct. If you're kind of with me right now, would you say yes? Yes. yes. Good. Yeah. I hope you're listening and trying to answer every question yourself and being ready to answer these if you were given an opportunity. Let's look at four. Who's ready? Michaela, what symbol appears where the number four appears? Check mark. Which says this item has been posted or this item won't be posted? Has been. Has been. Past tense. This item, what are we down to? Like 18 of these left we could choose from? Which item are you talking about? Uh, accounts payable, the 2500. This? No. This? No. This? Yeah. Just that one? Yeah. Was posted to the general ledger or to the subsidiary ledger? Subsidiary. Which subsidiary ledger? Uh, accounts payable. Was it posted there as a, de a debit or a credit? Debit. To any particular account in the subsidiary ledger? Whole Brothers. Yes. Did you post that daily often or at the end of the month? Daily often. And what answer then must be the answer for question four? Uh, C. C. Okay, everybody? Are you getting it? Yes. I want to know if you feel 100% sure about what's in the general ledger and what's in the subsidiary ledger. If you are, then we'll move on and finish this. If you're not, I'll enter into another activity and try to show you what the difference between the general ledger and the subsidiary ledgers are. Which do you want to do? Move on doing this? Yeah. Or talk about what's in the two ledgers? Wait, no. You can't please all the people all the time, I can tell. Why did I ever ask you? Okay, let, let's move. <laughs> let, let, let me do this exercise with you. Let's talk about the three <laughs> ledgers that we've been talking about, general ledger and the two subsidiary ledgers. And let's do this fast so that we don't <laughs> spend all day on it, okay? So here's going to be sample accounts in the general ledger. And here's sample accounts in the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger. And here's sample accounts in the accounts payable subsidiary ledger. Let me remind you. General ledger, accounts receivable subsidiary ledger, accounts payable subsidiary ledger. Now, you can help me. What I want to know is just in the general ledger, I want to focus on just it, and I want to know names of accounts in the general ledger. Just name me as many as you can, as fast as you can, and don't worry about the way that I react. Wait just a minute. <laughs> Go. Inventory. Rent expense is a correct answer. Hold up your hand. Let me recognize you. Here we go. Inventory. Inventory is a correct answer. I thought your hand was up. In my peripheral vision, it was. Didn't hear you. Supplies is a correct answer. Office equipment. Office equipment is a correct answer. Depreciation expense is a correct answer. Didn't hear you. Is a correct answer. Is a correct answer. <laughs> Has merit, but is not the way we talk. That's the uh, way. That's a category. Capital. Um, that's a category. Drawings. Uh, that's a category. <laughs> I'm coming back to you. Okay. Payroll Je expense. 
Didn't hear you. Payroll yeah. expense. We call it salary wages expense. Yeah. And that's the correct answer. Can I steal my answer? <laughs> Marcel? Oh. I'm waiting on you to improve that one. Uh, Greg? Capital? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I heard Ray Greg Capital. Isaac? Uh, she stole mine. Oh, what? Okay. Let's, we got to go fast. Greg um, Drawing. Is correct. Is correct. Sales revenue. Is correct. We call it sales. Right. Sales expense. There's no such thing. Freight in is the correct answer. Oh, accounts receivable. Accounts payable. Oh, accounts payable. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay. Did you know, I said don't notice my behavior, don't, don't worry about the way that I react, but did you notice that I reacted differently sometimes? Yes? Okay, why? Explain to me why I did what I did. Kelly, you want to talk to me? Uh, well, those are like the five main categories. Oh, about. come on everybody. What kinds of accounts are these? What's this kind of an account? Come on, everybody, say. Uh, this is. This is. This is. Come on. Revenue. Ah. <laughs> I wanted one sample of each one. Those are the accounts that are in the general ledger. And you knew that before Chapter 7. It's been that way since Chapter 2. That's a takeaway from the course. You ought to know that. Okay? Now, the two new ones this week are these two. So for a minute, let's focus on the Accounts Receivable Subsidiary Ledger. Give me as many names as you can of a, uh, appropriate account titles in the Accounts Receivable Subsidiary Ledger. Be creative. Try not to look something up in the book and tell me the book's answer. Give me your answer. And don't worry about the way I react. Um, Einstein Bagels. Mm. I'm going to say has merit, but I'm going to get you on a technicality, and you're going to be mad at me when you figure out why. But it's okay. You'll live through it. <laughs> With that, huh? For accounts receivable. We're doing the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger and I want to go faster than this because I want to finish Johnson. the lesson today. Didn't hear you. Steve Johnson. Steve Johnson, I'll think is the right answer. Oh, cool. Vivian Garcia. Didn't hear you. Vivian Garcia. Judge W. Bush. Barack Obama. Good. Really good. Thank you. You got it. Now, what did you notice about all these account names? They're people. They're people. They're, they're people. I want to establish that first, okay? Because my assumption is that we sell to people. Huh. Now, that was an assumption. Okay, that's where you have all with me. That was an assumption. And I didn't tell you that on purpose. But let's think of another way to describe them other than people. As a group, how would we describe them? In our relationship with them, customers. they're customers, I heard somebody say. They're customers. So much so that sometimes we don't call this the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger, we call it the customers ledger. Now is that apostrophe S or S apostrophe? No. Speak up. I don't think there's nothing. It's neither one. It's okay. neither one. That's the first time anybody's ever said neither one. It was a trick. And it's not their ledger. It's our ledger with their names in it. They're the people that owe us. So if these are our customers and these are accounts, receivable accounts, what are they? Are they debit or credit balance? If all these balances are normal, what are they? Debit or credit? Why did only one, one person debit, respond debit, to that? I need a whole bunch of people to say debit. 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 So they've all got debit balances. And, you know, in your homework problem, part of what I didn't get to that Michael talked about, that I wanted to get to, that I was trying to get to, was the book's instruction that you need to reconcile, prove, show that the subsidiary ledger and the control account agree with one another. So when all the postings have been made, you should be able to add up everything in the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger, the sum of which should equal the control account 
called accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is just going to have the summary balance and all the details are in the subsidiary ledger. Help me name the accounts in the accounts table subsidiary ledger. How fast can we do this? Name one. <laughs> I'm going to get you on a technicality and say that's a wrong answer. But I like your other answer. Einstein Bagels. Einstein Bagels. Kansas and the Chiefs football team. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's just have one football game. Wonder Mifflin Paper Company. No, Schwarzenegger Incorporated. <laughs> Y'all want to hear about my most embarrassing moment ever? Yes. yes. Actually, yeah. Actually, it happened about right here to a person that was sitting about right there. And he picked up the pattern of what I was doing, how I was reacting to your answers. And he said, Alyssa Sue Smith. <laughs> <laughs> and I wrote it on the board. Uh, <laughs> it was chalk. And as soon as I saw what I'd written, I used my fist on it <laughs> real fast. And then turned around to him and wheeled on him with fire out of my eyes. And he was sitting there really, really smug. <laughs> really smug. <laughs> he had deliberately done that, and I fell for it. <laughs> okay, what do all these have in common? These are all business. They are all businesses. Yeah, you spotted that. I didn't want people this time. These are our suppliers. Sometimes in real life, we call them vendors. When I started working in the real world, Vendors was a funny name to me. I'd never heard it before. The people from whom we buy our products, our goods that we're going to sell to other people. And we, there's something else that's common about all this. What is the commonality here? These are all our... I heard it over there. Some creditors. These are all our creditors. These are the companies to whom, to which we owe money so that makes all their balances debit or credit. Yeah. These are all credits. And what we call those? Creditors, yes. Sometimes to the extent that we'll call this the creditor's ledger. Is that S apostrophe or apostrophe S? Yes. Neither. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. And then when you add everything you've posted to this ledger and compare it to the summary that you've accumulated in the control account, that sum should equal this. Are you with me or not? Yes. Yeah. Did we waste our time just now? No. no. Is that a good refresher? Yeah. Yes. And to help you discriminate between what's in the general ledger and what's in the subsidiary ledger. Yes or no? Are you better off? Yes. yes. Okay. Let's go faster. Let's make up for time. So I want somebody that will volunteer and do these next two for me all at once. I need a... Oh, here she is. Ashley, talk to me about the two symbols that appear where five and six appear. Are they account numbers or a check mark? Account numbers. There are two account numbers. For any particular accounts? Um, well, for five, it would be two. Oh, wait. What was the question? Sorry. What are the account numbers for? Um, to say that we posted. No. To any particular account name? Oh. They are the yes. account numbers for? For a certain account. Yes, say uh, office equipment and advertising. That's what I was looking for. Which indicate that these amounts have been posted or won't be posted. Have been. Have been. It's always past tense. I think we're down to like 18 or something. 17 maybe that are left here. Which two are you talking about? Uh, the 2,000 and 4,000 in the other house. 2,400? No. Right here? No. Yes. No. You said 4,000. I'm saying 400. Oh, sorry. 400. But it's, not, it's not that one. It's the other one. Oh, these over here? Yes. Not these, nope. but these. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so, were they posted to the general ledger or to the subsidiary ledger? The general ledger. Yes, because that's where office equipment and advertising expense are, as we reviewed moments ago. Yes? Yes. And when you posted them, did you post them as debits or credits? Debits. Did you look up at the top of the screen? Yes. Is that cheating? Nope. Nope. 
Smart. And when did you do that? Daily, often, or end of month? End of month. Yep. We posted the general edge at the end of the month. Which answer is the best answer to five and six? A. May I skip seven with your permission and move on to 11 since we've done some similar to seven? Yes, yes or no? Yes. We're shifting gears big time right now. And I want to talk about these bottom ones and I need you with me. I'd like a volunteer. It's sort of pioneerish. This is a little different. Talk to me about the symbol that appears where question 11 appears. Are you with me, Michael? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Uh, the account number for cat. An account number. He said correctly. That indicates this item has been posted or this item won't be posted. Has been posted. There are, there are 21 items on the screen. It's uh, 18,355. It's right one row above it. This one right here? Mm -hmm. Not this? Well, that's included in the bottom. You posted in this one right here? Not that. No. Posted in this one? Yes. Just that? Mm -hmm. Where are you posting this? Mm -hmm. That would go into the uh, general ledger. Uh, the question was to which account? Oh, cash. Okay. To the cash account, and that's in the general ledger or the subsidiary ledger? General ledger. That's the general ledger. Did you post there as a debit or as a credit? Right. Daily, often, or end of month? End of month. If you haven't been understanding any of this, understand this. We didn't even know that total until the end of the month. We've been patiently waiting until now so that we could sum that column, get that total, and post it at the end of the month. That's end of the month. Now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There could have easily have been 70 or 700 or 7,000. Let's pretend 7,000. Would you rather post 7,000 times or once? once? That's where the greatest time saving occurs. We need to learn to post column totals wherever we can. And why were we able to post that column total? That column total we were able to post because of two things. They were all alike, and by that I mean they're all going the same place. They were all going to cash. And they were all going in the same direction. They were all credits. With me or not? Yep. Because they had that commonality. We didn't have to post them multiple times. We got to post them once. And that's why there was this time set. So what's the answer to 11, Michael? Um, the answer to 11 is B. B. Posted to this, the general ledger as a credit. If you're with me right now, say yes. 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 I need somebody to talk to me about 10. Here she is. Let's talk. What symbol appears where the number 10 appears? Like a number. A number is correct. Any particular number? The number four inventory. is correct which says this item has been posted or this item won't be posted. posted. Now there are 21 choices you've got here. Narrow it down for me. Which item has been posted? One this one right here. Not any other on the screen. Just that one is correct. Good. Was posted to the general ledger or to the subsidiary ledger? General. To which account in the general ledger? Credit. No, that's not the question. You sort of answered this one a minute ago. To which account in the general ledger? Inventory. Inventory. Did you just whisper that to her, Michael? Mm -hmm. Good. I swear I <laughs> Oh, sorry, I was saying another my <laughs> I saw your lips moving. <laughs> sorry. Inventory. Yes? yes? And was it posted there as a debit or a credit? Credit. credit. Daily often or end of month? End of month. End of month. That's when we post to the general ledger. And it's column totals. Now, which answer is the best answer to question 10? B. B. Nice job. I want to talk about 8. And I need somebody that's pretty confident because I may try to twist it around. I need somebody to talk to me for a second about the book's illustration of this. How did the book illustrate this? If you know, raise your hand and save me some time right now. I want to finish this today. You didn't look in the book? Shame on you. You need to look in the book. Michael, do you know? Uh, 
multiple account numbers, yeah? That is incorrect. Right. Somebody else gave me that answer this morning, too, multiple account numbers. It's not multiple account numbers, and it's not a check mark, and I need the right answer from one of you. How did the book illustrate this? You're shocking me. This might explain a lot of things. Okay, I'm going to tell you. In the book's illustration that I hope you'll look at later, it's illustrated as an X. And what I'm asking your permission for, which apparently I don't need to because you're not even, you don't have a clue that I'm changing this. I'm asking you to keep all the other concepts in place and just change the book symbol from X to check mark. May I have your permission to do that? It's just a symbol. Okay? You need to look at the book's illustration. But I've seen this in real life done with a check mark. Now, is it an account number, Greg, or a check mark? It's a check mark. It's a check mark. I already established that. And sometimes check marks say, this item has been posted. And sometimes check marks say, this item won't be posted, which is this one, Greg. This item has been posted. This item has been posted. So which of these items is it? There's 21 choices here. Which one is it? It is the combined total of 6,500, which is right above it. This one right here. Yes. It's referring to that. Yes. And that item was posted where? To the general ledger or to the subsidiary ledger? General ledger. To which account in the general ledger? To the other two, uh, it was, it was, it's multiple accounts. It's posted to the general ledger account called Other? Yes. Is there an account called Other in the general ledger class? No. no. In fact, we used to sing a little song in church <laughs> about this. And y'all not ever heard this chorus because it's longer than 45 seconds old. Y'all remember Rutland's joke on that? If you're a freshman, you don't because you didn't hear him say it. I'll sing a little song. No other account in the general ledger called other. Is that the way that went to church? No other. No other. Name. Oh, yeah, that's the way it goes, Jesus. Y'all heard the song or not? No, yeah. no other account in the general ledger called other. Don't ever say other to me. Did you hear me? Don't you ever. If I ask you to make a journal entry next week and you say debit other and credit cash, you're out of here. <laughs> Do not say other. When you put something in the other column, you have to specify its account name. Yeah. And we've done that, haven't we? Yeah. Yes? yes? So where are you going to post this? 6,500. Right. I'm going to post it in the general ledger and I'm going to post it by according to each one of them, their individual account name. I thought we already did that. If you do that, we're going to have posted them twice because when I asked this person, they had already posted that and they posted this and they posted this and they posted this and now you go back and post all of those again, you're going to be posting them twice. Are you with me or not? Yes. Are you going to post that total? Class? No. Are you going to post that total? No. You don't post that total. And I'm wondering if we shouldn't just not do that toll. Maybe it's confusing to do that toll because you'd want to post it and you don't have to post it, so let's just don't do that toll. Is that okay with everybody? Mm -hmm. No. 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 Why do you need that toll? Why do you need that toll? Speak up. There's a name for that. What do we call proving that this is in balance before we post? What do we call that? Cross foot. How can you cross foot to make sure you're in balance if you don't have that number? Yeah. We need that number. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that. But here's the problem. You just keep looking at that number and it keeps screaming at you, post me, and distracting you. So you're multitasking, you answer the phone, talking to the boss, doing all this other stuff. And that thing just keeps wanting attention. When you put the check mark there, you say, shut up. <laughs> Leave me alone. I've thought about you. I'm not going to post you. Leave me alone. Are you with me here? Yes. You don't post the column total. Now, we're going to run a minute or two over time. Let's go fast. I need a volunteer to talk to me about the symbol that appears where number nine appears. How fast can you do this? 
my check mark. Because? Uh, because we've already posted everything in that line. There you go. The reason I saved this one for last is because it's so much like this one. All of these have been posted, so you don't post the total. Michael says, all of these have been posted, so you don't post the total. Agree or don't? Agree. Agree or don't? Yes. Final call. Agree or don't? Agree. Isaac. Are you saying no? Speak loudly enough that they can hear you. Y'all need to pay attention to this. The answer is you do post that total. I on purpose, Michael helped me. I on purpose was trying to set you up to see that these two columns appear to be the same. And they're not. What's the difference, Isaac? You are correct. You are correct. Let's go over it again. I have posted these, so I don't post this. I have posted these, so why again do I post this? You have to post it to the general ledger. Remember the little talk we had over here about the ledgers and about posting the details to the subsidiaries and the control account had to equal? Well, you have to post these details to the accounts payable subsidiary ledger, but this total gets posted to the general ledger and that's the way they'll equal with one another. Are you with me or not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. That was an important point. They're different. Are you better off because you came to class today? Yes. Yes. Now, with Monday's demonstration and this conceptual talk, sort of conceptual, but with a procedure, I'm hoping your homework is going to make better sense. Don't just do your homework to get it done. Think about what you're doing and why you're doing it and reinforce these concepts. Have a nice day.